We are at the Toyota Motor Manufacturing Plant in Cambridge, Ontario. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Motoring 89. Now, at first glance, this place looks like your average car assembly plant. But don't let looks fool you. There is nothing average about this place, and we'll discover why later on. But first, we're going to talk about seat belts. Now, it's no secret that every year, seat belts save thousands and thousands of lives. But if you're one of those stubborn people who still can't get used to those belts, our Sandra Neal now tells us that you ain't seen nothing yet. We all know that seat belts are law in Canada. But in many of Ford Canada's 1990 models, there will be an additional safety device in the event of a collision. And to prove the point, they've brought in a heavyweight spokesperson. There you are. <laughs> They're called airbags. And in the event of a head-on collision, they take less than half a second to deploy. Transport Canada says that in combination with seat belts, airbags could prevent death or injury to nearly 240,000 Canadians. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice to be back in your country again. You're making me feel very at home with your weather. <laughs> um, with the help I of Jackie Stewart, said, the Ford the Motor Ford Company Motor of Canada will be introducing airbags in 80,000 1990 models. I've been now with Ford for almost 25 years, so most of my career has been spent with Ford Motor Company. It started off in motorsport, because suddenly I had a fairly serious accident that I for the first time found that I couldn't walk on water, that I was as vulnerable as an next person. You know, most people believe that it'll never happen to them. It happened to me, I suffered by it, and I suddenly realized there was a lot to be done. Now the airbag comes in, and that's what's called a passive system. Now, the airbag, when it's fitted, of course, you've still got to wear your seat belt, but nevertheless, it's going to reduce injuries, in my opinion. It, that's what it's proven in all of the tests. Jackie Stewart's opinion certainly carries a lot of clout, but critics are not convinced about airbags. They ask the questions, will they explode accidentally? And don't they block a driver's vision? Robert Rosenfeld spearheaded the development of airbags in Ford models, and he assures us there's nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, we just finished deploying this airbag on a, in, a, in, a, in a mock uh, simulation of how an airbag works. There's a number of myths that have come about airbags. Oh, when this bag goes off, it's going to envelop me, it's going to pin me in the car, I won't be able to get off, get out of the car. The bag is totally deflated one second after the crash, and I think you, you can see for yourself that it, it, it's just not possible to do it. It cannot block your vision. And we know of no case where the airbag is ever deployed when it wasn't supposed to. One incident where the airbag did deploy occurred across the border and saved the life of Melanie Stevenson. When it happened and when I, when reality sets in, I think it takes a couple days when you go look at the car and you see really what happened. I, I realized at that point that if I hadn't had, you know, the airbag, and I also had my seatbelt on, that I probably would not have, you know, survived the accident. Surprisingly, the use of seatbelts is not law in all states, but by September, all 1990 cars in the U.S. must be equipped with airbags or automatic shoulder belts. In North America, at least in the United States, they've been very lazy about buckling up. For what reason, I do not know. They're overprotected in so many other avenues of society, and yet they will not go to the trouble of wearing their seat belts. You in Canada have given an excellent example to the Americans on that. We have a very substantial leg up in marketing that product in Canada versus the U.S. Of course, in the U.S., most states are still getting around to deciding whether or not seat belts are a good deal or not a good deal. So as a result, most Canadians are, have a much higher propensity for things that improve their safety. So it ought to be a, an easier process in Canada than the U.S. Do you think we're going to be seeing airbags as standard pieces of equipment in all vehicles in the years to come? Long term, not tomorrow and not next year, but we'll start at the top. We've got to start somewhere. And I think you'll even see them in trucks one day, but uh, that'll be down the road a little piece. I think if I look back in 30 years' time or whenever, I would like to be looked upon as someone who had contributed much in the area of racing safety. I think I would prefer even that people see me in that light rather than the three world championships or the 27 out of the 99 Grand Prix that I won. 
um, because I hope that I've saved life. I hope that I've attracted more people's attention to the need for safety and more awareness to it. So I would say that's the thing I'm most proud of.